Hey guys, Aaron here. In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to set up uh, VNC screen sharing with your Raspberry Pi and a Mac. Uh, this is what I use to connect to my Raspberry Pi so I don't have to wire up a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is log into your Raspberry Pi and open up the terminal, then type sudo apt get update, and that updates all the packages on your Raspberry Pi. The next command that you want to run is sudo apt get install tight vnc server, which is the vnc server that we'll use to connect to our Mac. You can run the vnc server by typing vnc server uh, space colon one, and it will ask you to create a password. You'll use this for screen sharing on your Mac. And the final thing it will ask you is if you want to set up a view only password, and in this case I said no. Next, you'll install another package called Netatalk. So if you type the command sudo apt-get install Netatalk, it will install that for you. Then you want to log into your Mac. And on your Mac, you need to open up a Finder window and press Command-K. This will open up a dialog that says connect to server. In the server address text input, you'll want to type afp colon slash slash and then the IP of your Raspberry Pi. And you can find the IP of your Raspberry Pi by typing ifconfig in the terminal on your Raspberry Pi and looking for the inet address. Once you've added that, press connect. It will open up a name and password modal. Then you'll want to type the username and password for your Raspberry Pi. Mine is still the default Pi uh, for username and Raspberry for the password can hit connect to connect to the file system via Finder. And you should be able to see all the files on your Raspberry Pi, but we still need to do some work to screen share with the Raspberry Pi. Going back to our Raspberry Pi, you'll need to install another package. Type sudo apt-get install avahi-daemon. Then type the command sudo update hyphen rc dot d space avahi hyphen daemon space defaults. Next, you'll need to create a file and add some code to it. So I'm going to run sudo vim slash etc slash avahi slash services slash afpd dot service. And I will provide all of this code on the GitHub, and you should just be able to copy and paste it into this file. I pressed I to edit, right-clicked, pasted the code, and then pressed exit and capital ZZ to save. Next, you'll need to restart the daemon, so I type the command sudo slash etc slash init.d slash avahi dash daemon space restart. Now on your Mac, if you're on the same network, you should be able to see Raspberry Pi as a shared device in Finder. And you can log into this with the same credentials that we used earlier. Finally, to set up screen sharing, you'll need to do a couple more things on your Raspberry Pi. I entered the slash etc slash init.d directory and then created a new file called tight vnc server and opened it up with vim. And then I pasted some more code in this file by pressing i and then right clicking and pasting the code. Then you'll need to modify this code to change the screen size for screen sharing. I changed mine to 1920 by 1080. Finally, press escape and capital ZZ to save. Next, I changed the permissions of this file using sudo chmod plus x type VNC server, and then killed the VNC server process by typing sudo pkill x type server. Next, I started the script that I just created using sudo slash etc slash init.d slash type vnc server space start. Finally, I ran a couple more commands. One was sudo update hyphen rc dot d type vnc server defaults. Next, I created one more file using the command sudo vim slash etc slash avahi slash services slash rfb dot service. I pasted one more chunk of code in this file and then press escape and zz to save. Then restarted the daemon using sudo slash etc slash init dot d slash avahi hyphen daemon 
restart. Now if you log into your Mac one more time and click on Raspberry Pi, you'll see a screen sharing op option next to connect. You can log in with the password that you created in the first step when you ran type VNC. And it should open up a screen sharing window on your Mac. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick tip, and I'll see you guys next time.